Hello, Dr. Coker here, and this is a guide to Don Meg. We're here to get the second relic from the Fuoth tribe. Please like and subscribe, I'm releasing guides for every story dungeon and trial in the game, so you always know what's coming. Let's get started. The first boss is Ankthon, Lord of the Lingering Gaze. He'll cast Candy Cane, which is a simple tank buster. Just use mitigation and healing as needed. Hydro Fall is a circular AoE attack, just step out of the marker to avoid the damage. Later in the fight, this will have multiple circles. Laughing Leap is another circular attack to avoid. And this is followed by Land's Blood. Land's Blood will hit everyone for light unavoidable damage, and you'll see geysers appear randomly on the floor. For the next several seconds, he will repeatedly cast Land's Blood. Every cast of Land's Blood will spawn more geysers and advance existing geysers to their next state. Faint geysers will become bold, and bold geysers will explode for heavy damage and stun nearby players. During this time, I recommend constantly moving such that you always avoid the bold geysers. As long as there are no geysers or only faint geysers near you, you'll be fine. There's also a stack marker in this fight with no cast bar, just stack to mitigate the damage. The second boss is Griol. He'll cast Swinge, a giant conal attack that's marked, just get out of the marker to avoid the damage. He has a combo beginning with Fodder, which spawns several saplings. The saplings will be tethered to the boss and he'll repeatedly cast Timber. Players need to stand in the tethers, preventing them from connecting with the boss. Meanwhile, Timber will deal unavoidable damage to all players. After a few seconds, the saplings will despawn and the boss will buff up and enlarge him. The more tethers the boss receives, the stronger he gets, so it's important for players to block them. Coiling Ivy is one where all four players will become entangled in roots. Players can attack their own roots to break free, then help other players destroy their roots. The third boss is Ink Thon, Lord of the Lengthsome Gate. He typically opens with Crippling Blow, a simple tank buster. Just use mitigation and healing as needed. Next, you're likely to see Virtuosic Capriccio, which deals unavoidable damage and applies a bleed to all players. Just heal and Isuna through it. Later, he will cast this three times, but it will only apply one bleed. Imp Choir will display a large red eye marker, so look away from the boss. If you don't, you'll be transformed into an imp and be useless for six seconds. This is often followed by Toad Choir, if you see this casting, get behind the boss, because everyone in front of the boss will be turned into a toad for 6 seconds. With Funambulus Fantasia, the boss will knock everyone back and there will be a massive chasm between the party and the boss. He will begin a slow cast called Finale that will kill everyone if it finishes. There will be a thin line that every player will have to walk to get to the other side, and teleportation abilities will not work. Once you cross, get inside his barrier and attack his lyre to interrupt Finale. Then, after a brief stun, he'll jump to the middle and cast Changeling's Fantasia, which transforms him into a big ugly Shade of Fear. The Shade of Fear has two abilities. With Corrosive Bile, he will turn toward a random player, then everyone should get away from his front, because he'll barf continuously for several seconds and deal heavy damage. With Flailing Tentacles, he will raise his four tentacles, and usually there will be circular AoE markers at the same time. You'll need to move out of the circles, and make sure you're not under any of his tentacles, as they will slam down for heavy damage. Eventually, the Shade of Fear will change back to the Frogman, and everything is rinse and repeat from there. And that's it for Don Meg. Good luck, thanks for watching, and see you next time.